Now, success out the prison. The one thing that makes me so mad when I see a person get out of prison and they complain, I can't do this, I can't do this. Everything is stacked against me. The government don't like me. Dude, get a grip. I came out of prison. I did 17 and a half years in the federal system for hustling. When I got in the system, I educated myself. Anybody did time with me could tell you. I constantly went to the law library. I looked at videotapes they had in there. And I also read because I changed my mindset. So when I got out of prison, my mindset would already change. I didn't have to go through the process of changing my mindset once I came back to the block or started hanging out with my homies again because the same people that I left on the block when I came back, the same homies that I left on the block when I came back had changed. I changed. So that one of the reasons I became, I, I became successful. I never gave up on me. See, stacks of books. That one side. That's the other side. I pride myself on education. The more knowledge I have, the more power I have. And I tell people, it ain't about the fancy degrees. It ain't about what university you went to. It's all depending if you're trying to get a certain job. But when you educate yourself, it's infinite. You constantly learn. You constantly involved. You constantly adapt. A lot of people can tell me about being an engineer, being a doctor, being a lawyer. Being a politician, but they can't tell you about cryptocurrency. They can't tell you about the stock market. They can't tell you about the blockchain. So it's a lot of things that people think they are intelligent, but they ain't. But when you come out of prison, you got to be well-rounded in everything because you don't want to miss any opportunities. Like last week, a guy says this stuff to me. I didn't get offended. I didn't get upset because my life is in order. So what I did the next day, I posted it. He said, oh, man, you broke. You ain't got nothing because you coming here with his little Jordans on, with his little boo, and he thinking he's successful, and he know I've been incarcerated. But once I showed him for one of my businesses and some of my investment, I make over $27,000 just in residual income. Hmm. Let that sink, sink in. So I tell people every day, if you come out of prison, don't make no excuses. The more excuses you make, the longer it's going to take you to be successful. All you got to do is get online and see a lot of brothers and sisters coming out of federal and state prison that's doing big things out here. Peace out. Good luck, guys.